if I could set it up on West 4th Street, you against Stefan Marbury, one-on-one, and I'm four blocks away from the West 4th Street cage, would you take on Stefan Marbury right now? I'd take him on, but I'd get beat. I mean, again, like, the game, basketball's not played one-on-one. Basketball's a five-on-five game. And, oh, yeah, by the way, he's still a professional basketball player. I talk for a living. <laughs> I talk for a living. My my playing days are are, are over. I'm, I'm I play in celebrity games against against TV hacks only, only and dudes that are badly out of shape. But yeah, I play. I'd have fun. It'd be great. I have no doubt that he is he is still more athletically more gifted than I would. But I'll tell you what, you give me four dudes that can play, and you give him four dudes that can play, we, we have a chance. I love it. I, you well, know, last time I checked, we play sports to have more points than the other team. <laughs> How about uh, you get the Danettes against Stefan Marbury? I said guys. That can oh, okay. Play. All right. My bad. My, my bad. Yeah. Can, I, can I, I can I get can I get you? Can I get you spotted up in the corner? Yeah, that's me in the corner. That's that's three in the corner. Yep, I'll be there. I'd be more than happy to uh, help you out a little bit against Marbury. I still think that was the point I was trying to make. You know, Stefan Marbury better be better than you. Right. It's they're missing the point. Nobody answered the question of what you said, and it's a valid question. St. John's is not a coveted job. Well, and, well look, in, in, and in fairness, like I didn't contextualize it. That's part of Twitter. That's true. Like, you get more than 140 characters yeah. you want, and you know, but 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 the idea that you take that and you make it this personal thing, and then the lack of you know, it's like no disrespect. Well, a little disrespect to Baron Davis. I've forgotten more about basketball. And even New York basketball, then he'd, he'd know, right? And I was a lot of things as a player. Like, I couldn't shoot. If you left me alone in the gym, I'd struggle to score 10 points. But I definitely was not a soft basketball player. No one ever accused me of being soft. So I don't know where, where that comes from, right? Like, I, I think he thinks I have it out for him because I wanted to transfer to UCLA, and they chose him over me. Like, they'd have to be idiots to not choose Baron Davis over me. He was – Right. So just to prove that 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 Jim Herrick and Steve Lavin were not complete <laughs> idiots, they chose correctly. Anyway, the, the point is, uh, I look, I, you know, should I have contextualized it and said, hey, where are the players the last 10, 15 years? Yes. Why is the why is, you know, and, and and I mean, look, Toronto is pumping out player after player after player. Look at all these guys from the GTO, the greater Toronto area. There's 10 times the players coming out of there than are coming out of New York City. I don't. I'm not doing a history lesson as to why, but just look at the numbers of college players that are contributing, and then the NBA players. Who's still playing? Where are they from? And why is that? And let's trace that back. And for a city that boasts itself as the greatest producer of uh, basketball talent, um, that 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 is all huff and bluster that that lacks reality in the last 10 to 15 years. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune into Audience Channel 239 on Directv. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.